Just over two days after he was last seen, 24-year-old Emerson Daly's family's worst fears came to pass. This morning, his body was discovered in the Belize River. His uncle, Rudolph Galvez, was one of the first on the scene. I was down there earlier, when the cars, they find him on the next side, then they, they pull him across with the dory. Are you able to share with us maybe perhaps what you noticed on the scene? Well, I don't see anything because I don't see body. He's in the water as it and he's face down. So we're just waiting for the doctor. Did he have on his clothes? Yes, he had on the pants, but he don't have on no shirt. According to Belmapan police, Daly's already decomposing body had several stab wounds. While no motive has been established, they are not ruling out anything. About 10 a.m. this morning, um, we discovered the decomposed body of Mr. Emerson Daly with multiple stab wounds to the upper part of the body. Okay, um, which area exactly was he uh, in water lying face down? Yes, he was discovered in the body, on the water, with his face lying down. All right, so as to the direction that the, the police is leaning towards, is it something that you're looking at maybe from the perspective of maybe a uh, robbery gone bad or maybe some personal attack against Mr. Daly? We hadn't, we hadn't ruled out anything as yet, as the investigation is still fresh and um, we'll update as the investigation comes and goes along. All right, so no leads as yet? We have no definite lead that we would like to comment on at this time. All right, um, are you able to say how confident Belmopan police is in, in terms of solving this murder? Yes, we are aggressively from the in inception from the, when this report was made we have um, launched immediate investigation into this and we continue to do so the vehicle found are you able to tell us if there is any evidence in there anything that's useful to the police yes we have found certain useful um, scientific evidence within this uh, vehicle and uh, those have been collected those have been collected and as the investigation continues. All right, so when you say scientific evidence, you're referring to possibly blood stains? Yes, possibly blood stains. What appears to be blood stains is illegal. The family's fears mounted on Tuesday when the blue path finder that Daly was driving was discovered on the Mount Pleasant Road just off the George Price Highway. Daly had borrowed the vehicle from his uncle and promised to return. He never did. Well, I say it's blood on the back seat and on the floor and the slippers on the seat. Yeah, so, and they don't take anything on the more than uh, a little MPG that I play for music. That's all they took. Now, as his uncle and obviously someone who, who's very close to him, do you believe um, Emerson was killed by people who knew him? Yep, yep, that definite. Yes, because he know me, I live with nobody we don't know. So that they exactly what's happening. He need to get a call or a text or something like that, and he drove off. Picked them up, went to lead to his death. While police are still actively investigating this latest murder, the family maintains that Daly was killed by people he was familiar with. But why? Business associate and friend Shalu Butcher says she has no idea because Daly was not a troublemaker. She's still grappling with the loss of her dear friend. He had that kind hearted that if someone needed something, he would give of his time, he would give of his energy, he would donate. He, he was just a loving, loving soul. And um, I think this is what has us all so shocked that who could do such a horrific thing to such a person like him. Um, Emerson was fun. You know, he was a fun person to be around with. He kept you laughing, happy, joking around, dancing. I mean, any positive adjective that I could think of, I would label it with him. And he will be truly, truly missed by so, so many people. For his mother, she is relieved to find her son's body. But she has to live with the pain of losing her eldest child to unjustifiable violence.
they said I told him say I'm with someone and I will get bottom of that because I must not deserve to die the way he died. So if it's the last breath in my body, I will get justice for my son. I'm happy that I found his body and I know there is peace in my heart, but the one who killed my son and take my son from me, I will pray for them because everybody have their turn. And I want them to know that they take the best thing of my life because my son is so sweet and so intelligent and they didn't have to kill him. If they want to rob him, they should have just take what he had and don't kill him. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.